before it's too late. And while Matthew and the wildlife wardens patrol Nosimanga Bay against wildlife smugglers and poachers, some of the victims of smugglers end up here. It's a species that is confiscated by the authorities here from people who hold them illegally or try to smuggle them out of the country. And when the authorities do that, then they put the animals here with us. This is Ivaluina Rehabilitation and Environmental Education Centre. It's about 200 kilometres south of Nosimanga Bay. Charles Welsh and his wife Andrea Katz have been working here for the past 10 years. However, caring for confiscated animals is not their main concern. Ivaluina is actually part of an important network of worldwide zoos under the banner of the Madagascan Fauna Group, dedicated to captive breeding endangered wildlife and reintroducing them back into the wild. What we're trying to do in terms of captive breeding is, is really concentrate on the endangered species. Up at uh, Betampun Nature Reserve, about 30 kilometers northwest of here, We've done a, or we're working on a reintroduction project of black and white rough lemurs, Varicia. And in 97, we did the first, introduced the first group of captive born black and white rough lemurs. They were captive born in the United States, brought over um, a very uh, strict process of medical evaluation before they went into the forest. There was a further release of captive bred animals in 1998. They are all doing well, though some better than others. We have lost some animals. We've lost one animal to a fusa, the, the large predator here in Madagascar. And we've lost one to a fall, and one disappeared. Uh, but, but the others are surviving, they're doing fine. And especially the group that was released in 1997 has adapted quite well and uh, are eating totally forest fruits. Um, they're all provisioning now. The female uh, just had triplets about two weeks ago, has three babies that are now uh, doing fine, moving around a little bit, so we're, we're really pleased. These baby black and white rough lemurs are around three months old. Normally, the female gives birth to twins, but triplets are not uncommon. The parents are extremely gentle and loving with their young, as is obvious from the way they're fussing over these babies. But it's time for their morning exercise. As parents, they share most of their responsibilities, but it's the female that does the carrying. Normally, this lasts just for a few weeks, maybe a month or so, but it's extremely rare to see a three-month-old baby still being carried by its mother. These animals tend to keep in small groups of between two and five individuals, but they have been seen in groups of up to 16 animals, but that's rare. One of the problems for this species is that despite the fact they are gregarious and mates are relatively easy to find, mating opportunities are rare. The female is only in season for between one and three days a year, and copulation will only take place during a brief 12-hour period. 
Although this may be normal for many species, and it works fine when the species is in abundance. When it's not, when a species is under threat or on the brink of extinction like these, then a once a year opportunity to propagate the species is not opportune enough. And with morning exercise over, this group is settling down for a wash and a doze in the nest which mother has made from leaves and her own fur, which she plucked from her flanks. And with the little ones settled, dad heads off to do lunch, while mum stays at home to take a nap. As do their aunts and uncles. But it's not long before the restless youngsters are thinking about lunch themselves. And mum's quite happy to let them get what they can. When they've had their fill, Mum decides to go off and join their father. Leaving the triplets home alone and waiting for her return. But while Mum and Dad are away, Back at the nest, the young ones are concerned about a huge kite that's circling overhead. And they're not the only ones. The relations send out an alarm call and Mum returns just in time, closely followed by Dad. But the occasional circling kite is only a threat to the individual. No threat at all to the species. The threat to this fabulous species comes from a much more destructive and dangerous animal. Humanity. 